Hey guys, welcome back. Y'all, I am so excited about this video today because we are gonna be talking about some of the hottest trends for spring and how you can incorporate them into your wardrobe, girl. Go ahead, get you a notebook and a pen so you can take some notes. And go ahead and find your car keys because you know you're gonna wanna go to Target when we done. Okay, so something to know about me is that I follow about 1,001,510 um, Instagram accounts of fashion bloggers, okay? I love fashion, and I love to see how people are putting their spin on uh, different trends and just making beautiful outfits, and I, girl, I just love it all. Okay, so I have basically spent a dumb amount of time uh, researching in other words, browsing Insta. Okay, number one on my list, and I have seen this on literally every single fashion blogger's account. That is this little number right here, girl. Just a simple little, um, I've seen it called a work shirt, um, a dad shirt, a men's shirt, just a simple little button down collared shirt. I think I like the name uh, work shirt best. It makes me feel so like, professional <laughs> I'm gonna try to give you I can't do a full body with this setup I got to figure out a situation for the full body but I'm standing on a makeshift stool which is literally a pot out of my kitchen <laughs> right now girl you do what you got to do okay seeing this shirt worn a lot with like this little sloppy half tuck situation where it's not tucked in the back it is tucked in the front or you can um untuck it and tie it which I wasn't too sure how I felt about a tied up shirt until recently I kind of I think I'm kind of into it I think um the thing that I feel with the tied up shirt let me know if you agree with this is that um for a lot of women because also okay the high-rise jean is really big right now too right and for a lot of women our waist is our smallest area and so if that's true for you I just think it's kind of flattering to tie your top right there and to um kind of bring the focus into the smallest area of your body. Um, I definitely, this is my smallest area. I realize this isn't a full body shot, but if it were, you could see, girl, I might be petite, but I got some hips and some booty, okay? So yeah, you could tie it up or you could tuck it in. Uh, I Technically, you could wear it untucked. I wouldn't do that, but you do you, boo. It's all about taking a trend and making it your own. Staying with the work shirt, let me say this. I love a little short sleeve work shirt. I think this is perfect for a day like today where it is um, 80 degrees outside. I have it paired with some blue jeans. It's perfect. Um, in the summer, I could throw this on with some shorts or a little denim skirt. We're gonna talk about that in a second. Or um, you could just wear this shirt a lot of ways. I think it's equally as important to grab a long sleeve um, work shirt. You guys, I you could tell I should have ironed her. I'm really sorry, I'm so unprofessional. Um, this one, I feel like I have worn her untucked and I felt real cute in that situation. I love how um, vertical stripes, girl, I love a vertical stripe right now. Um, but I love how it's vertical and then horizontal. I think that the mix of that pattern is really fun. So you could tie her, that's so cute. You can also just give it a real quick sloppy tuck. So long sleeve button down shirt. Y'all, this one is from a little online boutique. They don't have a website. It's a Facebook page. I'll link to it, but it's gone. I checked. There's no more of them, uh, but I'll link a couple of really similar items below. Okay, let me tell you the next thing that I'm seeing everywhere and that I search high and low for the perfect one for me, and that is a trench coat. Okay, if you don't already have a trench coat, and you might, because here's the thing, I think trench coats are so classic, and I don't know why I have never owned one until this moment, but I have one now, and um, I feel like it's so hot for this year, but I feel like I'm gonna wear the snot out of it, you know? Just the snot out of it. I actually wore this trench coat over, like I wore this combo 
the other day and I got so many compliments, compliments, compliments on it, sister. Let me show it to you, stand it up. It's just so cute. And on a chilly morning, you can just throw this on and by the afternoon, you can take it off. It's lightweight enough to not kill you, but uh, weighty enough to help, help a sister out. Again, I feel like trench coats are so classic that you may already have one, but they, um, they're they definitely classic. They never really go out of style, but I feel that they're having a real moment this spring, and I am fangirling hard for it. So the next trend that I've been seeing so much of, and this is an example of having to put your own twist on it sometimes, is like a, thermo, a thermal material, like a that knit material shirt. It's, huge right now for transitioning into spring. That is not my favorite look. I actually bought one and returned it like the next day because it just was not for me. But what I did find in that same material is this cute little pullover. Okay, I won't spend a lot of time like showcasing different ways to style it. The trend here is this material. And um, if you want to get in on it, then there's a um, there's one that everybody's doing. It's by Free People. I'll try to link it below. Again, that was not my favorite look and it wasn't really for me, but this I'm loving. So you could totally take um, a trend and find a little twist to make it your own. Okay, while we're on the note of making a trend your own, one thing that I have been seeing everywhere are um, graphic t-shirts and specifically, like rock band t-shirts. They're everywhere and <clears throat> I'm seeing so many girls style them in ways that are so fun and playful and really cute, but it's not really my style. Like a, a rock band t-shirt just isn't really my thing. I really love the idea of what I was seeing happening. So I saw this little gem in Target and grabbed it because it gives the same vibe as that vintage rock band tee except for that it's the golden girls and i love the golden girls okay so how cute is this little t-shirt you could totally just wear it like this i think in the summer with shorts that would be really cute um untucked you can do just a little sloppy front tuck again i think that's really cute or you can go all in tuck it with your high-waisted jeans embrace you know this trend fully that that's what it's so big right now to have the high-waisted jeans and tuck your shirt in. A little crop shirt is really hot. I am a mama. I am not here for that. I paired it with a little grandpa sweater. I think this is super cute and fun and playful, and I am really here for it. I think that this shirt would be so cute with the next trend. And I am seeing this everywhere. And um when I first saw it, I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't sure if I could get on board with it. It is a denim blue jean skirt. You guys, the 90s called and they want a party. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is everywhere. And this, um, of course, the raw hemline is still so big. I don't think it's going anywhere anytime soon. Um, I'm not going to try this on simply because... We have not figured out the full length body situation. This is that universal threads line though, you guys, and it was $19.99. This next thing, um, this is the one item that I would say this shirt is a trend by itself because I'm not kidding. I feel like I've seen it on so many Instagram girls and the way that I see it the most is tied up like this. Um, you could also tuck it. And it's $19.99. It's such a good um, staple piece and such a good transition piece. But girl, if I were you, I'd run to Target right now and grab her up. Okay, next trend is all over the place, y'all. It is everywhere. It is the color for spring. It is lavender. Okay, girl, it is everywhere. Get on board. Choo-choo. <laughs> One thing I did really like about this shirt is this hemline. I like that it gives you that little hint of that boxy midriff trend, but then it has this really um, feminine ruffle coming out from underneath it. So I'm thinking that this is gonna be so cute with some white denim jeans 
and some big tassel earrings. Okay, so that's all I have to show you on clothes. Okay, let's very quickly talk through some accessory trends, because girl, I know you got a life to live and this video was getting long, okay? Um, number one, big, bold earrings is all the rage. Um, these right here um, are a great example. Just big, bold, bright tassels were hot last year. They're hot again this year. It doesn't have to be a tassel. I don't know why both of these are the same color. It's just what I grabbed out of my jewelry box. It doesn't have to be a tassel. It just is all about bold, bright earrings. Um, <clears throat> or big, I've seen big gold earrings a lot too. So just the big earring is, is where it's at this year. Um, gone are the big chunky necklaces for now. Y'all remember we had that moment where your necklace could not be big enough. Um, but right now I'm not seeing a lot of necklaces. When I do see them, they're very small and dainty. For shoes, espadrilles um, were so hot last year. They're hot again this year. Um, this little platform situation is real big right now. So I think that's a fun trend. Loafers really came on the scene hot and heavy um, last year, and they're still hot and heavy this year. Um, she's a little gross because I've worn her a lot, so I'm going to put her on down. Loafers are huge. Um, and little slides. So hot. So, so, so good right now. Um, also, can we talk about that gingham is huge for spring. Black and white gingham. This is a great example of making a trend your own. I like black and white gingham. I just have not found a clothing piece that is right for me. Um, so when I saw these, I thought, oh my gosh, this is such a fun way to incorporate a hot trend. Um, so if like lavender is a lot for you and you cannot commit to a full lavender shirt, then maybe you grab a little lavender slide or a little lavender purse or lavender earrings. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna tell you about is maybe the hottest trend of them all. I probably have said that three times, but literally you cannot follow um, the Instagram fashion scene without having seen this all over the place. And it is the straw bag. The round straw bag is probably the most popular, but any straw, straw bag right now, girl, any straw bag. So um, I was talking to my friend Jen about this trend. She was with me when I picked this one up and she was like, oh, I have some straw bags from um, a vacation that she took to the beach. And I was like, yeah, go ahead and grab those on out and wear them, hunty, because these are so big. I cannot even tell you. And finally, finally, they are coming out at good price points. For a hot minute, you could not buy a bag like this for less than $100. And I am too cheap and cheerful for that. I could not. Um, I got this one for about $40, which is um, much more bite-sized for a trend to me. This right here is the hot ticket item for spring trends. So I will link a couple below at a couple of different price points for you. Whew, that was a lot, you guys, but it was so fun. That was so fun. Like basically just playing dress up for 45 minutes. By the way, I've been recording for 45 minutes. I don't know how I'm gonna get this down, but Lord willing and the creek don't rise. <laughs> That's what my daddy used to always say. Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Um, okay, that's all I have for you. I hope that you found some fun trends, some fun inspiration on how to make a trend your own. And um, I will see you again next week. Bye, guys.